It's my job as founder and CEO to add my welcome and my hearty congratulations to our two honorees. Thank you. You honor us by allowing us to honor your very sacred and important work. And thank you for the wonderful speeches. They were exactly what um, I was hoping you might say, um, and more so, because it's what my interns and my novices need to hear. So thank you. You're welcome anytime. Our library is your library. Our home is your home. Stop by anytime. I should have also mentioned that um, my new friend Tim here is uh, taking us live on Facebook. So, lest you think he's just been bored and watching TV or something on his phone this whole time. In fact, he's been working for us. So, greetings to everyone on Facebook as well. And it will post there as well so you can, um, your friends can watch it later if you feel you would like uh, them to hear what Professor Kamali said or what Mary said. Because I think that those messages should go very far. Um, here in Ollie, we are rooted in six core principles, and we identify these and refer to them through an acronym of the words Be Calm, B-E-C-A-L-M. I'd like to quickly go through them so that you understand what we're rooted in and how they're related to the work that you, our honorees, do and, and why I reached out to you to come today. Um, you'll also see that many of us are putting on these orange bracelets or bangles. Um, you're each getting one too in a gift bag that we have for you. And be calm is written on these bangles, so we carry them with us wherever we go. So the B is for best, uh, our highest and best. Now that is not to say that we're all going to be the best at something. I will never be the best dancer, like Moses and Paul. It's like, I'll never get there. But I would like to think that if I tried, I would try to do my best, my highest and best, if given the opportunity to dance. We will never all be the best in class, but we all want to offer our highest and best when we are in class. So we hope that as you look around our institute, you see that principle reflected, that we're doing our highest and best with what we've been given. E in Be Calm stands for earn it, keep it, and the it is reputation. To earn a good reputation and to keep it up. So how many times have you gone to a new restaurant and you love it and you think it's just great and you keep going back, but after a while, it's just not as good anymore. You know, the service falls down because the reputation that was earned in the first place is not kept. How many times have you worked with a colleague who when they started out they were doing good work because they wanted to please your boss, but once they realized they were pleasing their boss, their job performance kind of went down. Instead of honoring the respect that they had been given, they kind of took advantage of it. And we find that to be very dangerous habit. So earn it and keep it is the second one. The C in our acronym stands for communal what? Communication. Communication. To communicate. You know, we believe that, um, I believe that after 17 years in this career, and in this home, most of my adult life has been here. I believe that if we could improve communication skills, we could solve so many problems. In America, I think our big problem right now is division. In Uganda, I do think a big problem is the lack of communication. And so we focus a lot on communicating, sharing information, sharing stories. In all of our staff meetings, we begin by what we call honor our mission. And we go around and we take turns telling a positive story about some experience we had with one of our interns or novices that week. Because otherwise, staff meetings can be about problems, right? Seems like whenever we get together to meet, we just want to talk about the problems and solve the problems, and of course we have to. But when we honor our mission, when we communicate about the good things that are happening, then we go further, we're stronger, and pushes us to achieve our highest and best. And you know, Mary, I just want to say on the earn it, keep it part, I think AHF really has that one down. You know, you earn a strong reputation um, and you've kept it. It's not just the 1.2 billion, but it's that strong reputation in the field is something that I really admire. And then the A in Be Calm is alone, you are not, that you're not alone. Whenever we function from a feeling of aloneness, bad things happen. We make bad decisions, we make bad choices. And Dr. Kamala, that's why I really respect your work so much, because you work so hard to help people who feel alone who think they're alone, when in fact they're not. And so we remind ourselves of that every day with our orange bracelets and in our conversation. 
but we're not alone. L in our acronym stands for Little Gardens. Here at Ali, we have no cleaners, we have no janitors, we have only our one lead cook, and we call her Lead Cook because she leads the rest of us as we cook and work together as a team. So our Little Gardens is a metaphor uh, for what we have been given. We believe that if we tend the little gardens that we have, then we will be given a big farm one day. So the Leadership Institute is divided into little gardens. The library is a little garden, the outer office is a little garden, my office is a little garden, the bathrooms are each little garden, and so each intern and novice is assigned to a little garden that they tend for that week. And then they switch, because some little gardens are harder to take care of than others. <laughs> For example, a bathroom is harder to take care of than I <laughs> So to be fair, we switch. But we feel like we have many little gardens that we've been given. Our, our medication is a little garden that must be carefully taken care of. Our health, our bodies, our minds, our thoughts, our clothes, our education, our school, our school books. All of these are little gardens. And we believe that we honor them and respect them, and we will be given more. And finally, the M in our B-Column acronym stands for Make It Beautiful. That's why you see it written on the intern's t-shirts, and you'll see it on bumper stickers. There's a bumper sticker for each of you also in your gift bag. Psalms 50 verse 2 says that God shines from beauty. So I think that whatever your faith tradition or worldview, the notion of the divine emerging from things of beauty should not be forgotten. We talk a lot about the fact that beauty is power, that there is power in creating beautiful spaces. And I'm not talking about expensive things. Like, for example, Fred put these uh, Bougainvillea flower petals on the awards table. That didn't cost any money, just a little effort, and yet it makes it beautiful. And by adding beauty, we're adding more honor, more respect to what is displayed on that table. And so we have now taken our Make It Beautiful campaign to in Teddy Town. Uh, the, the interns and the novices do community service. Some of the things they do are, for example, they volunteer at orphanages and they help there to make this, those spaces more beautiful. Um, they've renovated our local police station that was in, uh, in, in not in very good condition and they made it beautiful. They didn't just clean it up, but they made it beautiful. Yes. We're very proud of that. And we're excited and happy to do it. And now we have really good friends at the police, and that's nice. Thank you. Uh, in fact, is the OC here? No, it's not. I'm surprised. Then we are, um, our next project is all these speed humps around Ringy Crescent. They're not painted, and you can't see them. And every day I walk the four miles around State House Hill, and all the time I see cars hit those speed humps too hard because they didn't see them. So we're going to be painting all of those speed humps, and then we're going to be adding a little flower that will shine bright at night because we want to make it what? Beautiful. Beautiful. That's also part of the reason that we have the artwork here and the artists who are here today because artwork can seem like a luxury item and some of the prices these artists are charging kind of is a luxury item. But art is so important. Moses, who danced here, is also at art school Prince, and is here from the Michelangelo School of Art. So art and making things beautiful is uh, central to um, reaching our highest and best as individuals, as thinkers, as students, as leaders. And the Art Equator Cafe and Gallery, the same thing. We've always been so supportive of the arts. Um, so, as you continue your life in Entebbe or visit Entebbe, I hope you will continue to see new little bright spots. And I hope you'll think to yourself, hmm, I wonder if this is part of the Make It Beautiful campaign from Holly. And chances are hard that it will be, because we're, we're, we're hardly done yet. So with that, I want to um, conclude my part of this ceremony. We're almost done. But I have to really underscore how important all of you are, our honorees and all of our other guests. Our community is very important to us. We are new in this location. We've only been here six months. For those of you that it's your first time, don't let it be your last time. You're welcome here. We want to be uh, 
we want to be a part of the community, we want to give to the community, we want to have influence and impact on the community. So please, though our gate is big and tall, it actually opens very easily and you're most welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.